Well, hello everyone. Um, I don't have much of an intro for this video, um, so I guess I'll just get right into it. What this man is about to tell you is what I believe to have exactly happened, or damn well close to it. And we've been suspecting this for a long time, and I've verified that Moscow is a drug haven, and that house was a drug den. And you're about to get confirmation of that, and then some. Enjoy. Hello, this is Rory speaking. Hey, man, nice to, nice to talk with you. I'm just, I guess, where I kind of want to start. Okay. Who I am, so you kind of understand where I come from. Sure, buddy. But for, like, well over two decades, I mean, I was pumping out. <laughs> I mean, I controlled, like, the northern half of Minnesota, into North Dakota, into Wisconsin, and up to International Falls, into, I don't know, went from there, probably up to Canada. Okay. Uh, I did that for over 20 years. So, I mean, I kind of know how this operates a little bit. Okay. Um, I was more like a, and this is the only, like, the easiest way to explain this. I'm six, almost 63 years old. So, All right. Um, uh, the easiest way to explain this is I was like a bishop. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, what, you can you explain what that is to me? Okay. Sorry, um, I just don't know. Uh, you know chess, right? Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm like a bishop. I was like a bishop. Okay. Um, I stopped doing it in 2003, and that was because of a raid where my place was surrounded by fucking two airplanes and uh, coming in from the woods with fucking uh, camouflage, all that shit. Anyway, um, so I've been out of it since 2003. Uh, Okay. <laughs> I think you're the, I think you're like the second or third person to tell me that actually, so yeah, I'm starting to believe it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, um, Mad Greek. Yeah. Yeah. Out of Sitka, Alaska. So, what are the owners got something exactly. to do with that? Exactly, dude. You, have you looked up the owner? <laughs> no, I have not. Thanks, dude. I, got, I got the links. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. So Zanny was the target. Zanny was the target. Shit. That's, yeah. No doubt. Well, here's whatever. I heard that Maddie flushed it. A bunch of drugs down the toilet or something? A bunch of drugs down the toilet. That, that Zanna was in control. So I think the targets were both Zanna and Maddie. So is that why Maddie said, I told Adam everything, and then that one dude is like, man, they're going to yeah. get you? So that's what that was? 
I know. I know, dude. I have I have a couple people like I want to say this to you. I want to tell you this, but I can't because something fucking's gonna happen to me. And I'm just like, what's gonna happen to you? Like, who's right. who's who's making you so scared? Right. Wait till you see see what this guy looks like. Then you know why. Wow. Yeah, man. Um, you can send me those links. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, um, I'll send you the links. Okay. And, and wait till you see his name. <laughs> you Russian? <laughs> So he's Greek. They're international, dude. This is like bigger than I ever was. See, dude, I knew there was something way more in this that's case. A, that's a fucking major hub, and, and it is, I don't think it, <clears throat> you know, this is, I can't prove this or anything, mm -hmm. but my suspicions are very high that it's not just trafficking hub. Okay. Because, I mean, it's international. So who are M who are Emma and Demetrius in this? Okay, now this is where I it kind of comes to a theory of mine. Is that being done? I mean, it really needs to be. What's that? Uh, the, the the whole king thing needs to be explained pretty well, I think. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I mean, up the. Uh, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of briefly explained that, but so Moscow is a hub from, so San Diego goes through there, and then it goes to Alaska, and then it goes to, uh... Okay, so that all, that all was said then? Okay. Okay. So that would, all right, that, okay, that's what I, that's, that's kind of important, I think. No, it's very important. You know, and that it's an international, I mean, this guy is a traveler, um, the, did, did I go into the profile? I know I typed it to you. The what's it called? The profile. The profile of somebody like that. Um, I got the picture of. Yeah, but I texted to you. Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't know if I said it to you on the phone, did I? I don't know. Let me see. You said, by the way, some tidbits. BK was into coke to help with his migraines, and then. Right. Oh, you said no, follow. I texted you, I texted you before I even called. Oh yeah. Okay. Hold on. I, I have. I got into it on the phone. I don't think it did either because all I have is uh, Constantinos and then a couple links and then I'm sure his daughter is involved also. You have more. And then I got a couple of like screenshots of her and the family. And then you said, uh, oh, here, follow the money, always. There's uh, enough so you can just look stuff up. They travel a lot more than in an income. Yeah, keep going, keep going up. There's got to be more. Uh, that's all I got, my man. What? Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know, my man. What? <laughs> Some sad. It's just one of those days, sorry. Let me look at my end here. Uh, hold on a second. What the fuck? Okay, so I didn't get into the profile. No. Um, I think that might be a good, good start, actually. Yeah, let's learn, let's learn uh, who this guy is. Yeah, let's get into the profile of who, what kind of person they would be looking for um, um, to be a king. Okay. All right, so tell me, tell me about him. Okay, so the profile of somebody that would be like a king of a, a, a drug operation that they control. Yeah, okay. Uh, the community would love them. I mean, they would donate to the community. They will own businesses. They will own like a restaurant. A, a bar, a club, a hotel. Actually, that's kind of big. There might be a hotel in the area that they use. Um, mm. There would be... And they use the businesses to wash money. Okay, yeah. Because it needs to be washed. Right. So, you're, and you're looking at somebody... Like I said, 
people really like the person and they get along good. They like those small college towns because they go in there and they, they can get ponds to okay. do, you know, to do their work. Okay. And they also mm-hmm. have bishops. The people that went into that house that night would be bishops. Not little ponds, but they would be bishops. Right, so you told me earlier that most likely this was an ordered hit from, but from who? Would it be Demetrius or from Constantinos? Constantinos. Maybe Constantinos, huh? Wait, put out the order. He won't get his freaking hands dirty. No, that's what I mean. He put out the, of course he's not going to get his hands dirty, but yeah, no, he's the one who said, hey, I, this is... Now, I'm interested who he called. Did, did he call Demetrius or did he call somebody else? I would think uh, he would call either Demetrius or Emma or... Oh, that's right, because you said Brent's involved with the other two, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in, involved. Um, actually, you know, I have a uh, friend that was uh, in the Green Beret and stuff, and um, he laughed at this dude. And when I told him that they got this BK, and, and he said, hey, there's no way. There's yeah. No way. This was a trained killer. Well, it has to be. This was a trained killer that did it that fast. That did that on two floors, absolutely. Right. I don't think it really went down that fast, like you're saying. I think their time is the way he screwed up. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, it would still be somebody like Brent. Right. Right, that's also what you mentioned, was that the girls also had to have heard something, and we talked about the cover-up as well. Um, right. Right. Um, so obviously those girls know something and had to hear something. So is it possible? Oh, yeah. Is it Okay, so could Kopaka do it all by himself or do you think there was two people? There was, there was three there. Three? No oh, there's yeah. three. Okay. And then BK, BK comes in later. And BK, that's what I thought. I thought he comes in. Um, and BK Hold on, let me. And the knife might have been he was doing cocaine down with migraines and, and that snowy crap that he would get. Snow vision, right. Right, and people do pawn stuff for coke all the time. Oh, all the time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think that knife might have been there already. You know what, it's funny because if you go look at Demetrius's profile, I believe it's Twitter or Facebook. Yeah, no, it's Twitter. Mm-hmm. There's this pic where he, there's like, uh, he's trying to sell a bunch of shit, and guess what's in there? A big-ass K-bar. So I, was, I saw that and I was like, ooh, that raised a lot of big red flag, but I just couldn't pin the two. I knew, look, I thought, and look, Emma Bailey looks so much like, uh, what's her name? His name, Koberger. They look like they're related, man. Oh my God. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Like, they look so, like... Oh, I just was right. I think you got a little sound sound on the side there. So yeah, <laughs> it looks just like them. But um, so I mean, here's the problem. Okay, so answer me this. If uh, and this is why I had such a big problem with the Koberger thing is because if you're a trained killer and you're as tactical as he as he's supposed to be, you're you're going every angle of that house, right? You're opening every door, going up and down. You're not leaving any witnesses. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. So that's why Kopaka never really left my mind. Yeah, it was more of a, a, a trained type person that, that did this stuff. And, and I don't know, it might have, you know, from what I've heard is that the Audi and Kaylee kind of walked into the nightmare. Yeah, that's right. We said they. So you think, oh, that's right. Okay, so around 3 a.m. is when you believe that Xana and Ethan got taken out and then. What, Maddie and Xana came home about yeah, a little Zana, later? Xana and Maddie were the, the targets, and they were waiting for Maddie to get home. <sighs> they already had they already had Xana and Lisa. And the girls knew what was going on. I mean, there's no way in hell unless they were really zonked out from, like, uh, uh, Partying. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fentanyl. Unless they were really zonked out or something, because... There's no way in hell that they did not. <laughs> I mean, Zana had. I mean, her fingers were almost cut off. Dude, you know what I mean? She was screaming bloody murder. And yeah, that's just bullshit. That's some bullshit right there, so. Everybody is scared.
there's a, and there's a king that lives there. There's a, I'm telling you, that's a drug hub. I did. I did. Did you see my last video? It's called Drug House. I know. That's what I've been saying. It's been a drug right. hub. It's, it's well known. It was. It wasn't just a drug. It was a Z drug It was. That's what I've been saying. And people are like, oh, there's, I've been hearing it. People are like, you can't prove that. Nobody's like, no, dude, it's well known. Yeah. It's well known. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. And, you know, uh, when somebody flushes drugs down the toilet and you piss the king off, he's going to put an order out. So who is the king in the house? Because I've heard Demetrius has never been there. So it had to be no, Emma. He, 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 he'd be a bishop. The king would be uh, somebody that owns a business. So the Constantinos. Yeah. Oh. Seriously, look into them because, and uh, the FBI should do that, and they might be already looking into them because, um, you know, somebody asked me that question. Um, why was there so many feds and FBI in town before it even happened? Yeah, they're probably on them then. Yep. And they might have been on them, you know. And there's lots of theories out there, and people can shoot out theories and. You know, one of them is that, you know, uh, BK could be, it might be just a total opposite thing. It could be, this could be, all be an illusion. It could be that he's a... Uh, well, you said he's in protective custody, custody instead of, yeah, right, right. It could be. I mean, I'm not saying it is. Right. The probability is a lot lower. Well, it kind of makes sense why they keep hiding them. You know, they're not telling us anything about what they actually have. Yeah. All this shit, moving the trial, like. This keeps going on and on. This does not help these court cases run. Um, <coughs> you know, they just don't. No, they don't. This is very, very uh, obscure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Completely agree. It could be, you know, it could be because there's a, a huge investigation going on. My God. Then yeah. they might have known it was Brett Kupaka. Well, I think that's why they took him out, and then... That might have been uh, why they took him out. Yeah. Because, dude, we talked about... Who are his roommates? Who the fuck are they? The week, there's no... Nothing on them. There's no body cam footage of Kopaka going down. Right. I know. I, it's just like this it's big weird. thing. Yeah. And then you said that you tried tracking down the uh, roommates, and they don't exist. <laughs> you know, you Bro, I went into the office, and they're like, I don't have any information. I'm like, how do you not have any information? I don't know. Don't, don't know who they are. Oh, okay. So, they're they're gone. They don't exist. Yeah, I mean, that just, you know... No, there's something going on no. there. Yeah. And, and kids are scared over there. And people are scared. Well, like I said, I mean, people want to... Uh, um, they're not going to get the bottom of us until they... they Tell they the truth. This shit out. And they, they, they need to know that this story doesn't match up about BK. It just does not match up. And then there's the two cars. One with tinted windows, one with not tinted windows. Exactly. <laughs> See, dude. Well, they, do you remember <clears throat> Do you remember when they said, hey, we're looking for the occupants of, uh, of the car? Right, not not occupant? Right. And then I showed the color, the, the car with the tinted windows. It's like, uh, okay, so what's how, how did the narrative change so quick? Like, And how do you take away the, um, the main... Smoking gun for the prosecution, which was what the 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 DNA on the knife sheath, right? Yeah, like I said, it could have been left. I mean, it could and you're not going to use it? Yeah. The knife. No, I know, but it's just the yeah. So that's what I I either thought he came in and accidentally touched it because he saw he's like he was coming in and he. I, I, yeah. I just think that he was the one uh, that said. I'm trying I, to help you. So, yeah. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. I think he actually tried to help the girls. He made a. Uh, and then it was probably dark. He probably tried to go in and wake him up or something. I don't know. He didn't know what the fuck's going and on. And then realized yeah. it was way worse than he thought. And he just got the hell out of it. That's what I really think happened. That's why he took off so quick and then went yeah, that crazy went route. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I would say my, my time as Domain was like shortly after three. Yeah. Like, what time do those girls get home? Well, that's, it's, I think, 145 or something like that, they said, so... Was it 145 or 245? Nah, I think it was, like, 145. Was it? Yeah. It could have been as early as that. It could have been. But been. it might have been somewhere between 130 and 3, for sure. Yeah, so... You know? It's just weird that they're saying... So why are they so stuck on the 4 o'clock? 
Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't, I really, really have a hard time with your timeline. And especially with the fucking DoorDash coming at 4 a.m. I'm sorry, you know how long it takes a DoorDash to get somewhere at 4 in the morning? Long ass time. Right, you're right. Long time. <laughs> yeah, it's just, there's something wrong, man. Say that that happened in 16 minutes or whatever to happen. And that's another thing, they keep changing it. Because they, they can't even make it. They fit. can't make sense of it, yeah. They, yeah, they can't even make it thick. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about, I know. No. And, and uh. the dark tinted windows. <clears throat> um, Demetrius's brothers got the car just like that. I heard about that, so there, dude, there's so much. Seen pictures. Yeah. So do you think Demetrius' brother may have something to do with it? They called. Well, Dem- I'm sure he's, he's probably a bishop, too. Yeah, maybe okay. Probably, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then there's the young, younger pawns. The younger. And Emma, she probably turned from a pawn to a, a bishop. Into a bishop. When she started going with Demetrius. Oh, she, she was big. She was like the. Her and Demetrius were the ones, so. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. This is amazing, man. Absolutely, bro.